In this video, we'll set up a keypad so we can control our setup with a wall-mounted keypad. Start by clicking the Create Keypad button in the upper right-hand corner of the page or the end of the line of text in the center of the page. Currently, only Ethernet and Tumbra keypads are supported. In the future, serial and virtual keypads will be added. Let's give the keypad a name and provide an IP address for it. After you've created your keypad, you'll be able to begin configuring the buttons. Let's start by choosing the first button. You'll be asked to set the zone or multiple zones you want the button to control. From there, you'll choose what each zone will do once the button is pressed. Select the edit icon on a zone to choose what action you'd like to have the zone do when the button is pressed. Actions include playing a show, playing a scene, lights off, or relays off. Continue this process for each of the buttons on your keypad. Buttons that have actions assigned to them will have a coral color applied to the number of the button and will have assigned written on them instead of unassigned. You can also set which zones will be affected by brightness and lights off buttons on your keypad. On the sidebar, under the buttons. If you need to, you can clear the keypad by selecting the button on the lower left of the sidebar. Once you've fully set up your keypad, click the Save button in the lower right-hand corner to store the actions to the buttons of your keypad. Congratulations, you've set up your first keypad. Your keypads will be shown on the dashboard, where you can edit an existing keypad or create another. Keep an eye out for our next video coming soon. Thanks for watching.